Hi, I'm Hamish. I'm a member of the Public Commercial Services Union based in HMRC in Dundee on the Tax Credits Helpline. In my hand, I hold a piece of paper. It's a ballot paper for National Industrial Action. On the ballot paper, there are two questions asked. First of which is, are you prepared to take part in strike action? The second of which is, are you prepared to take part in industrial action short of strike? And as you can see, I've voted yes and yes. The reasons for me voting that way are threefold. Um, we face a tax on our jobs, on our pay and on our pensions. The tax credits helpline where I work, jobs are insecure because the universal credit white paper that was laid down in Parliament earlier this year makes clear the government's stated intent that the primary mode of communication for new applicants for claimants of the new universal credit will be online regardless of what the public want, regardless of what's the best service. People will be forced to use online services rather than have someone to talk to about their universal credit application. There's no agreement currently for redeployment of staff who may lose their jobs as a result of the introduction of universal credit. And without such an agreement, our jobs aren't safe and the service we provide to the public is unsafe. In terms of pay, I've been in my current position for eight and a half years. Um, I've yet to reach the maximum on my pay scale. Last year, the pay award I was given failed to keep pace with inflation. I took a real terms pay cut. For the next two years, they're saying we're getting a 20, £250 pay rise year on year. £250 when the cost of living is going up currently by 4.5%. The bills that are coming through the door each month get higher and higher each month. The cost of living is going up massively and our pay simply isn't keeping pace with that. That's how people get into debt. That's how people end up suffering. We have to take a stand. And in terms of our pensions, they're looking to force us to work longer, to pay more and to accept less in the end. Just the other day it was announced the Public Accounts Committee confirmed that the changes that we negotiated in 2006 to the public sector pension schemes actually made them sustainable and affordable in the long term. We'll save billions of pounds and there's no economic rationale for going after the public sector pension schemes. They're not the problem. The public servants who didn't cause the crisis are being made to pay for the crisis in order that the banks can keep paying bonuses. That's not fair, it's not right, and there is an alternative. PCS has made clear there's £123 billion uncollected that could be brought into the economy from tax evasion and avoidance if the political will was there. That money being brought in would not only take away the need for cuts to be made that the government keep telling us there's no alternative to, that money wouldn't just prevent the need for those cuts. That money would allow us to look to have a better society, a more just society. There is a better way, there is an alternative. By voting yes, yes, you're saying you agree there's an alternative and you want to see that alternative become reality. Please vote yes, yes and please get your ballot paper in by the 15th of June.